This is an explainer video about Codex, what it is and why it's important. The Codex Elementarius Commission, or CAC, is often referred to simply as Codex. It's a joint FAO and WHO commission which was established in 1963. Its purpose is to develop harmonised international food standards, guidelines and codes of practice to protect the health of consumers and ensure fair practices in food trade. So how does it all work? Codex is the decision-making body that is made up of 186 members. The members are all the countries that are signed up to it. In addition to that, it has 220 observers 154 non-governmental organisations, so NGOs, as well as 16 UN organisations, so it's big, really, really big. To assist Codex in its work and to make suggestions and recommendations to help it work well, it has an executive committee which is comprised of a chairperson, three vice chairpersons, six regional coordinators and six members from the regions, so it's a good representation of all the members. It also has a Codex Secretariat, which is a small full-time paid team of professional and technical staff who are collectively responsible for the implementation of Codex's Food Standards Program. The Codex Secretariat is the great communicator of the work of Codex, so it keeps members informed of everything they need to know about the work that's been undertaken and why. Every Codex member country has a Codex contact point, a CCP, so it can facilitate efficient and effective communication between the Codex and the member country. It's the channel for information and communication. To make all this work, the Codex has various subsidiary bodies, aka committees. There's the General Subjects Committees. They work on questions of general scope that involve all foods or food groups, sort of horizontal committees. Then there's the Commodity Committees, and yep, you guessed it, they develop standards for specific foods or classes of food. So they're more vertical committees. These committees prepare the draft international standards for submission to the Commission. They are then consulted on by all the members and will finally be adopted as international standards. Other committees of the Codex include the FAO WHO coordinating committees, which provide a forum through which regions or groups of countries can coordinate food standard activities in the region, including the development of regional standards. The Commission can also establish ad hoc intergovernmental task forces on an ad hoc basis with specific mandates. They get created to address emerging issues or new safety issues or where a topic needs to be dealt with by several committees something that requires a diverse and wide-ranging approach. The main mission and purpose of Codex is to bring the world together to create food safety and quality standards to protect everyone, everywhere. So it does this through providing an international standards benchmark with a rules-based approach which rigorously upholds sound scientific principles. And that's Codex in a nutshell.